to today. Today we're in the apple orchard getting apples. Tons of apples. These are our bags. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're starting out strong. We are in a huge mess in the kitchen. We went apple picking today and Sylvia and I are gonna do some recipes. Gabby too, when she wakes her butt up. We are out super early. We got 11, two, four, six, eight. I have one in my hand, nine, 10, 11. Got the honey, we got the oats. And we are making up some stuff. It's almost Thanksgiving in Canada, so we're gonna do some recipes for that. What are you making? Uh, horse treats, and then I'm making dog treats. Horse treats and dog treats. Sophie keeps us in horse treats and dog treats. I'm going to make applesauce. It's one of my favorite things to make. So I'm gonna sit here and peel some apples, and we are going to get our bake on. It's fall, you guys. I got this new sweater the other day. It is so fuzzy and so warm. I love how it fits. It's baggy, and it just feels so good pouring sweat I'm gonna have to change you guys it's been hours <laughs> we've made a run to the store these are the apples Don't they look amazing like look at that apple mmm I ate one it's so good we have so many of them I have some apple cider on the go so I'm gonna make this and make it into apple cider it's my first time ever making apple cider and then I have applesauce over here, which is another thing that is my favorite. So I had to turn the oven off, or I had to turn the stove off while we were gone. So it's, they're kind of like in the middle of cooking. And then Sylvia has horse treats that didn't really turn out that good. She couldn't find her regular uh, recipe. And I don't think these are gonna last, Sophie. You should freeze them because they're too fresh. Um, we did go to the store and we got some carrots. Sophie wants to make other treats too. To bake this. Some more molasses. But essentially our kitchen is a huge mess. Everywhere, stuff. I'm actually gonna give a bag of apples to my daughter-in-law because she was gonna go and buy apples at the apple orchard. Apples are expensive now. Like, it's shocking how much apples cost now. When I was growing up, we would go apple picking and it would be like an affordable way to bake stuff. But not anymore. <laughs> anyway, we, we picked these little tiny ones for our little tiny horses. But I've officially used up almost an entire bag of apples just in the stuff that I'm making now. So we are down to 10 bags of apples left. So I showed you guys, oh my gosh, what are you doing in the bowl? Pebbles just hid. So I, oh, was he out? Yeah, they were at the water. Oh good, okay, so I showed you guys that we got these little pea chicks. They are so much work. So oh, pea chicks are notorious for not eating well. So we're treating them like baby birds and we're feeding them like on the, every hour and we're showing them how to eat and they're doing a little bit better. Pebbles is so, so much cuter. So this is Pebbles, we think it's a girl. It's a pied, um, it has, has a bad foot that we're trying to figure out. It walks and gets around really well. It's just has a turned in foot, but it's not um, something that I don't, it's not something I think we can fix because the bone is completely deformed. So unless we like broke it and reset it, which we're not able to do that. <laughs> Don't pick at him, her. Anyway, we think she might be a girl and this one might be a boy just because this one has really, really long legs. Those are our first signs so far. We won't be able to tell for a few months until they, they're hungry. That's why they're making so much noise. But we won't be able to tell for a little while until they get older. If this one is a girl, then her, her, banding what was it called then her she'll get lighter as she gets older and if this one's a boy like we think it will get darker as it gets older so i don't know we have no idea for sure oops we have no idea what whoa <laughs> we have no idea what we have yet but they love to play after they eat each time we take them out for about 20 minutes and they run all around the house and they play and and scare Daisy by chasing scare Daisy. But this one is so cute. It's Miss Pebbles. Yeah, and it's dirty on its neck. You're no, just like that's because she just fell in the water. Oh. Ellie. Ellie likes to kiss them. <laughs> like anyway, these guys are healing our heart for sure. So pea fowl. <laughs> it's like what in the world? Daisy is not in love with the pea fowl. <laughs> but pea fowl 
learn to fly. They can fly and they learn to fly within their first week of life. And so we let them out so they can have lots of room so they can practice flying. And they actually do take flight. Typically the mom will go with them out in, in nature and tap the ground every time she finds food. And so she does it a million times a day. So they learn to, to figure out how to find food. But because these guys are being raised by us, we have to do it and we keep doing it, but we can't possibly do it as often as the mom does it. And the survival rate for pea chicks is 50%. <laughs> so we're not going with a good track record here. So I don't know if it's see how she's getting them to eat. So I don't know how it's gonna go. <laughs> see? <laughs> they're actually really funny. Um, another thing that happens with peafowl, they're very similar. They're actually similar to turkeys, but they are like the goose in terms of how they bond with you. So they definitely bond and they need you have like you have to spend a lot of time with them They bond forever and if you rehome or sell a pea fowl If you've ra hand raised it and spent a lot of time with it, it can be really detrimental to them So there are like a lot of They're a huge commitment We weren't looking for them. They just showed up one day someone dropped them off and asked us if we would take care of them I think they had a heart whoops. I think they were <laughs> I think they were a hard hatch we're trying to socialize them to the dogs as well so that we don't end up having a problem. My dog, as you can tell, is terrified. <laughs> Daisy over there is not having it because she can't hear. She can't figure it out that well. So she doesn't really like them. So right now we feed them kitten food and hard-boiled eggs and um, wild game starter. We also have tried giving them some vegetables from our kitchen and they don't really like anything. It's just gonna take time. Hopefully we can keep them going. So far, so good. These guys also require heat in the winter, which is like another issue that we may have. We can definitely keep them in a uh, stall in the, de in the goat barn, but um, uh, with a heat lamp, but I don't know necessarily if that would be enough heat for them. We're just gonna play it by ear and figure it out as we go. Teddy, you don't find a catch. Hello, boys and girls. Well, hello, horses. This is the person I'm looking for. Now. We're looking for you, Willow. She might run for it. So like I said yesterday, we bring Willow in. I wish I had brought all the treats Sophie made. Everybody's in here bossing each other around. Everybody's throwing their weight around. So we take Willow, look, she came right to you. We came, we bring Willow out. Yesterday, uh-oh, Penny. It's because Penny just doesn't like Sam. Which is weird because we had friends come over and ride with us the other day. Penny took a boy around, a man around on her. I know, Storm, Storm did it. He took off the hair on her back. And Penny was so happy to do it. She was so happy to let him ride her. It was actually amazing to watch her. Like she was so happy. So um, yesterday we brought Willow in. She's up till like 1 p.m. Uh, we bring her in. So we put her out in the morning with them and she's good. She like seems to know when she needs a rest. Hopefully by the end of like September, she'll be out there running free with the horses all day. So she looks good on grass. She's not, I'm not noticing any scary changes in her, but the horses will all come and stand around with her. I'm planning to change that fence thing. So this fence here is not working out good. So we don't like it. We don't like anything so about it. I'm gonna get the, one of these green ones from over there. So he's gonna take one of these green, green panels from outside. Put it over there. And he's gonna put it here. And then make the rest in wood. Make the rest in wood, oh I love that. Did you, is that what you bought that wood for? Well, no, I originally bought it because Chino would eat the hay. So I was gonna build that taller, but now that don't need to do that. So while Willow has a rest inside here, the duck and the goose are here <laughs> to keep her company. Um, somebody was worried about these hay bags and said that I hung them too low. They are hung for the goats. You guys know goats are notorious hay wasters. In fact, <laughs> here they are and it's working. Good girls. 
very impressed. So I find that they don't waste hay if I put it in a hay feeder or if I put it in a hay bag. So they ate this whole thing. It was full. Good girls. Yeah. So I'm going to um, fill that one up again. Because this is the goat domain. This is where they like to stay. I don't know why, but this is, they love this thing and it's good for their feet. So it's these panels here. He's going to take this panel, take one of these panels and put it in there. And now that we don't need a dry paddock. Well, we're going to use this dry paddock in the wintertime, but I'm going to make it bigger now. So once Willow can eat hay. Grass. Grass for all day. I'm going to have this all the way to the barn. He's going to take all this down and let it go all the way to the barn and they'll be and able to eat up all that stuff. Where there's all the rock. Yeah, so let's go and I'll show you guys. So they'll have all this area here. And he's going to cut off this area right here. And the reason he's going to do that is because it's all these rocks. It's like a, they could handle this though, Sam. I don't, I think they can handle this. It's just like a little. Yeah, better or not. Just in case they chase. <laughs> Hi, babies. So I'm going to move all that fencing I want here so that we can get through that gate up to here and up to there. All right. So basically they're going to go all the way back to that fence, all the way back to that fence. And all he's going to do is, line here. is cut off this little bit. So see this gate here? He's going to bring it all the way along here just to, to this rock area. But I think he should keep it open because this is how the goats go down to their Oh, well, they'll be able to go through the fence anyway. All right, so that's the plan. Also, another thing we did while we were taking a break is we opened up this last field, this rock field, closed off this section over here for the goats so that they have their own private area that the horses can't get into. Because I did notice that the goats only like Chino and Willow. They don't like the others um, because the others are not as kind. And the horse, so the horses have pretty much eaten down everything on this whole property. And this is the last field and it's, it's keeping them going. Like there's still quite a bit of hay in there, grass in there that they're eating. So when Willow's able to get out and stay out there, um, Sam will open up this area and they'll have a little bit, tiny bit of grass here. Why do you want to open up this area? What are you planning to do with this? We're planning to put a round bale out here. So the round bale is going to be out here. Plus, I don't know how it's going to be in the winter time because on the other side the wind blows this way and we have the big door open so so he wants to protect them from the weather and the wind and this little farmyard here is the the warmest area on our farm it's super windy today so i apologize for that <laughs> oh horses are all going back they came in for a drink they're making the trek back but once we make this into uh, where the hay bale goes in the winter, we will keep that gate closed because all that section will all be closed off all winter long. Um, and we'll open up this gate over here so that they can go into that paddock. So it won't just be a tiny little paddock. It will be, this will be the round bale. This is going to be where the round bale goes because it's easy for us to drive it in through this gate over here so easy. Oh, poppin'. Um, so it just makes sense for it to be here. It's protected from the weather. It's warmer for the for the horses, but they'll be able to go back into that pen around over to where they usually go into the barn. So it will be a big area. It'll be two big areas. They'll have like two different areas they can go, but look at they're all walking so slow. <laughs> look at this baby. <laughs> She's on a rock. Oh, there they are. Hopping. Uh-oh. And there they go. <gasps> Don't be an idiot. Yeah, pull those stakes out. Where she waits for all the storm shenanigans to happen and then she's safe. Always safe. So all these changes are going to happen really soon when Willow's ready to be out all the time with the other horses. I mean, she definitely could be out with them. It's just that I don't want there to be like a huge sugar, sugar increase all in one time. It won't be long though, I don't think, before she's out with them. It's definitely hard to make changes to our farm based on our changing needs because of losing a horse. 
but this all does make sense and I'm excited for change I'm one of those kind of people that loves change never at the expense of Chino I would do whatever it took to keep him happy like when we moved here we had to dig out all this area and drag it all and make it a space that would <laughs> make it a space that would keep him happy I wanted to talk to you guys about us um, getting new horses. I wanted to tell you guys our plans and where we're at with it so that you guys know because I get a lot of questions all the time. When are both girls getting new horses? Time for us to start looking for another horse. I'm afraid to ask Gabby about another horse and what she wants and if she's ready to start looking because I know Gabby's not ready. I know she's only has eyes for Chino still. We wanted to take all the time that we did this summer to figure out what Sophie wanted to do. And I'm really glad that we did that because one thing has remained the same for Sophie. Sophie wants to jump. So she loves what she's been doing, the Western stuff, the showmanship stuff. She loves it all and she's gonna do more of it. We have like a big show coming up. She has like, she's gonna do her very first Western pleasure show ever like she's she, we have a lot go coming up soon so she's gonna do all that but she wants to jump so we're gonna try and get her back into jumping but but to jump she needs another horse so she's gonna continue to do all the things that she's been doing now because she really enjoys it and she, and she can use storm forever because he's our horse and he'll be staying here to jump she needs another horse so right now we are in the market we're gonna officially start looking we've been looking we did see one that I think was a really good fit for her, but there are a couple of issues that I wasn't so sure about. So um, we passed on that one, but we are officially looking. Uh, we're going to start looking for a new horse for Sophie. I believe that when the time is right, Chino will send the horse for Gabby. And I know exactly how Gabby finds horses. Gabby doesn't ever go out looking for horses. She's never gonna be that kind of a person. She only wants Chino, but if a horse suddenly shows up that is the right horse she'll know she'll know so i need to like get a horse that shows up that is the right horse so that's the plan we're in the market for two horses um we're looking for sophie and i'm going to find a horse if a horse comes along that is the right horse for gabby um we're gonna introduce them and let it happen on its own like Sophie wants to actively go out there and look for a horse Gabby does not she's not ready so I believe that he will find us for sure but anyway that is it for today's video sorry it was all about mostly cooking and stuff but it is fall you guys we are getting into the fall stuff and like I said a couple of really big shows coming up and Sophie's very first ever Western Pleasure show anyway that is it for today's video and we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful?